locking connector. The power switch here, which turns off. Uh, there we go, off. Then uh, low speed, then a high speed. It's very simple. I use this power connector whenever I'm in the vehicle, especially for an extended period of time. Uh, if, I, if it's too quiet or too noisy, I turn it down one notch to low speed. If I need it still on, I just push it farther down into the vest. That quiets any additional unwanted noise, or I can shut it off. Or when I'm about to jump out, take it and throw it to the side, of, uh, to the side, and uh, get about my business. When I'm on walk about outside uh, on a crime scene or laying a flare pattern, doing some traffic control, I generally use what uh, 7.2 volt battery. It's common from all the toy stores and electronic stores in this area. I've also personally called uh, toy shops and electronic shops in England, uh, Israel, and Australia. All the uh, uh, capitalist countries, they, they like these batteries. They, they go on sale often during the holidays. Again, I prefer the nickel metal hydride, which is this is what this one is. Uh, you can also use the nickel cadmium. I don't prefer those because of the memory, the charging problem that they have, uh, memory charging problems. Um, but a good quality battery should last you anywhere from six to eight hours normally of continuous runtime. Uh, longer if you give the battery a rest at about every hour. I shut mine off for about 10 or 15 minutes depending. This says uh, for the operating instructions, I put the simple instruction in so that you place the unit so that the uh, air blows down into the vest area. You can, in my case, I usually wear a concealed vest, so I put it down through the neck. You can also put it through the side openings here. Or, for those of us with the short hair, it's a very simple process to insert it down the back. Uh, down the back takes a little bit of getting used to, but you know when I have sweat running down my spine, I find that that's quite... Uh, quite preferable. Uh, anyway, I would suggest if you're using one, give that a try. You'll probably like it. Um, you position the cooling unit as needed. Uh, you connect the power to the unit. You check to make sure a 7.2 volt maximum output, not fan around inside your vessels needed, like I said before. Left, right, up, down, uh, whatever is necessary to help you cool because it provides the local area of cooling and one spot may get hotter than the other. It does make your working in my vest more tolerable, but it is a, just a ventilator. It won't solve all of your overheating problems, but it does help a lot. Um, environments. It's not intended for operations in explosive atmospheres. It's not recommended if you have a pacemaker in your chest. And you need to use caution if you have long hairs that may get caught on the intake fans. But that won't harm your fan motors. They're designed that you could uh, uh, full power and shove a pencil in there and stop the blades and it won't bother the motors at all. It can stay there all day till your batteries run out or you decide to turn it off pull the pencil out. It won't harm the motors at all. Uh, but again, these fans do not spark. There's virtually no electromagnetic output. You can turn it off if needed, take it out. The main plastic body is made from U.S. military specification plastic. It can be a lot to do that, but uh, you've seen the, uh, the ballistic test in there. It stands up pretty well. You can try this in alternative methods. You can put it in your boots, uh, your pockets. Uh, you can use it as a hair dryer if you want. I have several different uh, fans, uh, assemblies that I, that I make up. Uh, they put out various uh, air flows. Uh, I prefer the single fan for the uh, northern half of the United States. I'm here in central California. Uh, so a single fan works very well for me. I have a lot of folks who are using the double fan down in southern Arizona. And a uh, nice gentleman, he says he's on patrol in Texas. He may want a double-wide fan with double motors on it, he thinks. Uh, but again, uh, the more airflow means more noise. You have to understand that's a normal function of the fan operation and airflow. Uh, you can turn it down or shut it off if you need to. I made one for an Army guy, a uh, tank driver. He didn't care how loud it was because nobody was going to hear it anyways. When I'm out on a crime scene, uh, out there in the middle of the highway, uh, you know, uh, nobody hears it out there or nobody cares. When I'm inside the courtroom, I have uh, lower airflow fans that are very, very quiet, but they don't put out very much air either. And then again, I don't need very much air inside the building. So think of where you are, how hot your environment is, what you're doing, how much noise you want to tolerate, and you can contact me at p 4 msncom uh, we'll figure something that'll work for you. 
And in closing, I wanted to say that uh, these are, for all purposes, experimental pre-production models. Uh, some of these are field test models, uh, been used or field tested at one point. Uh, so we'll call these remanufactured. All the electric fan motors are new. Give me a call. Check them out on eBay under body armor cooling fans. Uh, P4Gotch at msn.com.